When in reality, it's a bunch of people with daddy issues that are jacking with the cops on purpose for profit and fame. And I wrote, Ed, I would suggest VinWiki consider having more videos that are a positive influence for young people and not glamorizing legal activities more often. You can afford a few less views. And he responded, thanks for the feedback. Consider this my video of standing up and saying, it's not okay to screw with the cops anymore on YouTube for fun and profit. DDE, Savage Garage. It's not okay. Real car people out here, we don't like you. I've decided to make my life more difficult by standing up and speaking out. For the last, I don't know, four years or so, I have been an automotive YouTuber. I also love racing cars and fast cars. The ability to drive and own and work on our own cars is a fantastic personal liberty that we enjoy. However, there are laws that relate to that and how we drive and what we do and how we comport ourselves. And even though, and let's be honest, in the world of fast cars and motorcycles, and let's be real, how many of us have never speeded in our life in some capacity. Yeah, I see no hands, even from you, Karen, in the back row. Obviously, I first became prominent as a YouTuber by telling stories on VinWiki. And that's an awesome channel. That's kind of like the TV show Cheers in the 80s, I like to say. There's always a new character on it, and sometimes we get spinoffs. But it's a place to tell stories about the car culture. And there's been awesome stories and constructive stories that are heartwarming from like the uh, Lambulance to obviously me getting to talk about genius grad stories and things about people achieving their dreams. However, by virtue and nature of the algorithms on the internet and most especially YouTube, things that are negative and or illegal and or dangerous pop the algorithm better and get more views. Therefore, people like to do them more. And this is something I've clearly learned from being a YouTuber and watching the nature of the views. And there are channels dedicated to stupidity and illegal actions. Uh, one very prominent is Daily Driven Exotics, or DDE. It's very simple to just simply look at all their titles and thumbnails and look at how they leverage and use messing with police officers, or at least the act and thought of messing with police officers in a foolish and flamboyant bratty way just to get views clicking something like emotional caught on fire cop illegal does this cop does this when in reality it's a bunch of people with daddy issues that are jacking with the cops on purpose for profit and fame now there's other channels that do just the same thing i keep hearing about savage garage but i have no interest in watching these people however today on vinwiki was a story that popped up with a savage garage guy i don't know who he is Police react to this fake cop Lambo, and it's a Lamborghini Aventador done up like it's a police vehicle with a light bar at the top. Now, I well realize there are laws in such a way that perhaps wherever you are, you can have a light bar on the top if you don't turn it on. You can even paint your, thing, your car up to kind of look like a police car, as long as it's not saying that it is, and you're skirting a gray area. However, this is not being done just for fun. This is being done by people with problems with authority and daddy issues who don't give a crap about you, the country, other people, or most especially the car community. They only care about themselves and their views and the little bit of money they make from it. I don't like it because it's making car people look bad. I don't like it because it's making Lamborghini people and Lamborghini look bad. I don't like it in general because it's making police officers look bad. It's making everybody look bad. And the problem with these sorts of things is it has a tangible and honest effect. Now something else, obviously I've known of the Cannonball Run since I was a kid and way before the idea of VinWiki ever existed. And we all think it's cool. We all love the movie because within every American is a rebel. Within every American is a person who wants their own personal liberties to make their own way and their own dreams come true and they don't want to be hassled if they're not hurting anybody. Right? And that in it lies why we love the movie Cannonball Run. However, I'm going to point something out. The Cannonball Run is super illegal. To actually come close to setting a record of Cannonball Run in the past or now, you have to drive ridiculously illegal speeds across all of America through many states. 
you have to organize it and orchestrate it with many other people who are coming together to help you do these illegal actions planned. And while doing so, you're driving for 20 some hours straight with no sleep. Not only are you compromised physically as a person and mentally because of that, even if you take things to stay awake, you are setting yourself up for a massive amount of risk that potentially will do damage or the loss of life to others. And I ask this question, for what purpose? You see, back in the 70s, back in the days of like Dan Gurney and Brock Yates and stuff like that, it was a protest. It was a protest against 55 mile an hour speed limits that I think were put in by the Carter administration or something because they thought that would save on gas and make America more fuel efficient. Well, again, America is rebellious and doesn't like that. And if we can afford to burn more gas, that's what we want to do. And the 55 mile an hour speed limit was ridiculous, especially considering America is an awesome, big and wonderful country and an industrialized nation. So if Germany can have the Autobahn where you can legally and safely potentially drive cars 200 miles per hour, if it's clear, and America were relegated to 55 miles an hour because the politicians are trying to save fuel and make us all do that when everybody can literally drive faster than that safer. And if somebody wants to save fuel, that's what they want to do. But the politicians were trying to take away Americans' personal liberty, but not in a smart way, not in a way that's really better for everybody. And we didn't like it. And that's where Cannonball Run came from. But currently, the Cannonball Run is not a political protest. It's not a social protest. It's not to prove the roadways are better. It's just for cheap fame and to make an individual think they're cool as some sort of outlaw. And yeah, I, uh, if somebody's got a record and has did that, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat, but I sure as heck wouldn't do it. No way. Because what do you have to gain? And then when 2020 came around, there's less people on the road and such. And around that time when Vin Winky was getting very famous, suddenly everybody gets to be famous if they set a cannonball run record or if they fake it in the case of, I think, a guy in a Mustang. Everybody wanted their cheap fame. So they're risking their property, their life, their future, their reputation. But more than that, risking the property and life of other people. For what? Internet fame? Get a life. I say that also because I had to basically have an intervention with a young person whom I was mentoring, a student of mine, because he was quietly planning to do a cannonball run. And I'm very glad I got to talk some sense into him about life and the fact there was nothing for him to gain and everything to lose. Because he came to that realization on his own and he decided not to take part in a cannonball run. But other people chose to do it anyway. And on the stint or the leg of the journey that that student, it was planned that he would have been driving, the car was pulled over and the driver went to jail. But they're not going to tell you that on Van Wicky. Savage Garage is not going to tell you about that. They're not going to tell you about how they're right on the edge of legalities with fake police cars and rallies and super illegal speeding and such like that, finding ways to do it, finding ways to get out of law, having the lawyers and attorney to do that, basically to exploit it, and then to throw it in everybody's face how cool they are with their bratty daddy issues that are risking everything for everyone. All of us car and motorcycle people to enjoy our personal liberties because they don't care about you. They don't care about me and they don't care about the car world. And I'm sick of it. I am sick and tired of these people. But to be fair, in a small way, it's not entirely their fault. Because all of this is brought on by the nature of the internet and the algorithms, which are intelligently programmed by people who own the platforms to keep us fighting, to keep things sensational and controversial, so they can sell ads and make money. So they can use the lowest common denominator of us people to profit and keep us addicted to the platform. I don't really care if you all call me a Karen. I don't really care if all of the YouTubers that are big hate my guts. Because I want to be able to enjoy cars and my personal liberties as a car guy to own my own vehicle, to drive it, to 
to be left alone, not to have a governor on it, not to have cameras, not to have insurance premiums that no one can afford because idiots. I want to be able to enjoy this reasonably and responsibly and comport myself like something of a citizen who actually cares about others to enjoy being a car guy and motorcycle guy. Yeah, I'm not about to say that I've never broken the speed limit. And okay, fine, maybe you do something as a young person. Maybe you find yourself in a situation you didn't expect to be, but it doesn't mean you have to do it again. You know, it wasn't that long ago, in fact, there was a story. When I purchased this car, it was in Germany. And I got to drive it on the Autobahn. And there are sections of the Autobahn that are unlimited. They have no speed limit. But it's still down to your discretion to know if the conditions are right. And I was able to drive it very, very fast. Potentially faster, or at least for duration, than any of these wannabe cool frat boys on the internet get to drive. But I got to do it legally. That's the real dream. I'm not okay with this on the internet anymore, you guys. In fact, today, I'll be honest, I, uh, I just, I didn't care because it needed to be said. I commented on the VinWiki video and I wrote, not making it very civilized to own Lamborghinis. Not a fan. And then uh, VinWiki put, what exotic car would you like to turn into a police car? And I commented, I just apply to the police force and try to do the best job I could for the sake of our nation and people everywhere. And I texted Ed and I wrote, Ed, I would suggest VinWiki consider having more videos that are a positive influence for young people and not glamorizing legal activities more often. You can afford a few less views. And he responded, thanks for the feedback. I realize this is probably not going to change anything. But there are some things in life that can go without saying. But there are other things that need to be said. Consider this my video of standing up and saying, it's not okay to screw with the cops anymore on YouTube for fun and profit. DDE, Savage Garage. It's not okay. Real car people out here, we don't like you and we resent that. If you're not better than that, that's cool. Keep doing what you're doing, but one day it's gonna bite you and we're not gonna be here to bail you out. And if your actions bite us, oh, we're going to remember that. Cannibal Run has had its place in history. It's had a cool factor, and it exemplifies that inner American rebellious spirit of personal liberties. But it's damn illegal. And the repercussions are, you will go to jail. And even if speeding at any given thing might not be a felony, What if you end up with manslaughter charges? I would like to be able to enjoy my sports cars, motorcycles, whatever they are. I don't care if it's my 1931 Buick that frankly, I don't drive more than 46 miles an hour. But idiot actions that we find prolific on YouTube, most especially with people that have cars from the mark of Lamborghini. These are the kind of things that will ruin it for everybody. And I'm not okay with that. You want to shoot some heat my way? I don't care. I'd rather have this fight now than get to a point where we all lose everything and all of our personal liberties to have fun and enjoy cars in a reasonable way. You know how many police officers out there are car guys and gals? A lot of them. But it also means we have to have a modicum of sense and if you're on the internet, YouTube, and people are watching, I think we at least owe it to the car community and whatever nation we care about, or at least got famous in, I guess for the DDE guys who are Canadian. I would want to escape Canada too, by the way. I think we at least owe it to everybody to look at ourselves and rein it in. That's all I got. Let's talk about it. Is it time that we as a car community started to stand up and condemn the ridiculous illegal actions and inflammatory profiteering nature of messing with the cops on YouTube. I think we're past due. Okay, fun video next time. See you guys later.